Hey y'all, hey. All right, let's get into this. Neo, what deck is that? It's been a little minute since I've done it and I'm like, this today is the perfect day. Okay, so um, as you guys know, I read tarot. I use Oracle decks. I love them. I love all kind of decks. I just like things that are vibrant, that speak to me. And if I have a connection to it, which I feel like I have a connection to most of my decks, I just really, really respect it. I respect the message and I also respect the deck. So today's deck is super special because it is one that I myself created. <laughs> I can't believe it. I have, I've, okay, so real talk, I have so many uh, decks that I've created like in my mind and then, I, <laughs> and then I have some that I actually like put into work. And this was the first one because I started to see some really astronomical prices in regards to printing and I was like, what the f Okay, like, wow, it's really that expensive. And it kind of put a damper on my manifestation. And then just recently, and when I say just recently, today is Tuesday, Friday of last week. I was like, you know what? I'm about to call a local printing company and boom. So literally my girl said, it'll be ready by Wednesday. And I was like, what? I don't know what transpired in between my manifestation and this all working for my good, but thank you. I say to the ancestors, I say to the universe, but it seemed like something just clicked and things started to work in a more like in a universal way. Like when it's for you, it doesn't, it's just, it's yours. Okay. So boom. Now, before I get into this deck, this is called the breaking news deck. And my thought process behind this deck was, or is, was that I um, really was interested in reading things about world events, right? And I just could not find the deck that really spoke to me in regards to what was coming, what was happening, what was what 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 it was that I was feeling. So I was like, all right, let's just do it. And now how do we do this? And I wanted to break it down into continents. Obviously I can't break it down into countries because it's a whole hell of a lot of countries in the world. But I was like if we can kind of zero in on continents and then kind of I feel like this might give me um a more intense scope as to what it is that I'm feeling energetically and then use these tools to kind of really understand the download. So I did break it up into continents. Okay. Now this is a glossy feel. Um, it's a standard tarot deck size. Um, there's 30 cards because I told myself like, you know what? I have a feeling that there's going to be a second edition and a third edition. Hey. Thank you spirit. Because I just want to, I want to get in, I want to get my feet wet and then I really want to go hard. Right. I really want to go hard because I love this stuff okay so let me stop but yeah glossy feel glossy feel standard standard um deck size but the first it's called breaking news okay because y'all already know so obviously the first one is North America so as you're tapping in on this energy and or you're reading especially if you're read if you love to read about world events uh political events and things like that I just feel like this helps you kind of really um get in tune with where you're talking about and the me and the message understanding the message that's coming through okay and then we have Antarctica um Asia so Europe um Australia Africa and South America. Now, following these seven continents, I, are, I also, excuse me, wanted to talk about, I wanted to tap in on the natural disasters that happen because oftentimes people do their predictions, like they do their yearly predictions. And I feel like this deck would be so clutch in regards to yearly production predictions can't even get it out um, because even myself, I want to do that sometimes. And I'm like, I just need a more realistic deck to approach this so I can really show my viewers this is the energy right okay so we have wildfire we have blizzard drought tsunami heat wave earthquake flooding hurricane tornado volcanic eruption now after that I thought some more interesting um focus or matter um, to focus on would be things that are scandalous that happen in everyone's country on every continent right so we have the entertainment scandal a lot of times um, you can pick up on energy that there's going to be a, a, a scandal going on and then once you can like unearth that with the other um, 
decks that you have, you can kind of really dive a little bit deeper into the energy that you're picking up on. Is this a fire sign energy or is this a scandal with an earth sign? Um, is this a win? Because we have decks that give us like time frames, like the month, etc. I mean, you see how you see how crazy this can get? Like I'm already salivating. <laughs> but anyway. So stock market crash, um, lies and scandal, sports scandal, a pandemic, um, ceasefire, medical alert, increase in crime, political alliance, protests, uh, political scandal, trading and war. Okay. And so again, it's 30 30 cards and I know that there's so much more to add. I would love your opinions um, in regard to what else you would like to see in a breaking news kind of uh, deck because this is just the first of many but this is like my baby. It's my baby you guys. So I will have the link in the description box if you want to support and if not that's cool. I did what I was supposed to do. Like I just strongly believe that we all have gifts and we have jobs that we're supposed to do and I'm just checking this shit off like did it so I did it congratulations to me I am one of my biggest supporters and I believe that wholeheartedly I support myself when nobody else does and that's the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth I'm the first person to pat myself on the back because I don't play about me I want me to win. I want my future self to say yes. Like I just, I feel like when you hand off the baton in those races and those relays and you realize it's a marathon, but every time you turn, you're handing it off to your future self. Your future self is handing it off to the, you know, and it's, it's just, it's so impactful to know that I care enough about me and I care enough about my manifestations, the things that I create, that I'm going to go hard and I'm going to make sure that it, that what I'm envisioning, uh, I'm trusting myself that, that, that is, that it's good and that it's going to do good and it's going to help the universe. It's going to help the world. And so here it is. Here it is. All right. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does.